this is Bama Pops with uh, Outdoor Projects with Pops and today I'm going to start a series uh, about making a knife and it's uh, I was kind of inspired by uh, Tim over at uh, Sugar Creek Forge where he had his build along uh, I didn't know his channel existed until after the contest started but uh, what I'm going to do is build a knife and kind of base it on the the way that he presented building a knife and I'll have different steps uh, from uh, actual design of the knife itself to uh, cutting the knife out to uh, hardening the knife to uh, tempering it uh, of course filing uh, sharpening and also putting the handle on the knife so uh, uh, I'll go ahead and get started with that today and uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the design of the knife itself now I went and uh, designed my own knife and uh, usually got some graph paper that I do a lot of my designs and I actually designed the, the lower knife here and um, I call it the Fox just for a lack of a better name uh, and uh, I also cut out a little cardboard template here and uh, the knife I'm going to be building is going to be about seven and a quarter inches long and it will be about uh, the, the blade at the thickest will be or, or the widest will be about inch and a quarter with a full tang and uh, of course I'll have a hole for my lanyard here and uh, I've already ordered my parts and I've got some 1095 steel here and this is uh, let me read here what I've got here it's uh, eight inch thick by one and a half inches wide and I'll start using that I also ordered some wood for the handle and uh, I'll probably be using, uh, let's see, uh, actually got two pieces of wood that I ordered uh, for the handles. And I've got uh, some Coca Cola black ink and I've got some uh, walnut. And uh, I'll probably use the uh, walnut, probably. I may change my mind later. And uh, I also ordered some pins, some nickel silver pins. And uh, these pins are uh, 3 16th by 1 inch long, so I'll be using those as the pins. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is use the template that I cut out, a little cardboard template. And I'm going to go ahead and mark it on the steel and uh, start cutting uh, the actual knife out itself. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, use our template and mark out our steel. Some people like to uh, maybe get a paper template and glue it to the steel. And uh, some people use a Sharpie. I just like to use a Sharpie. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, place the uh, actual edge of the blade that I want. Uh, I'm going to put it flush with the edge of the steel here. And uh, do that. And I want to save some. So I'm going to use, go to the point of my blade is about an eighth to a sixteenth inch away from that to give me a little little play area there and uh, make sure that uh, the end of the tang will have some room there so I've got that mark there so I'll go ahead and use my sharpie and I'm just going to go on the outline around that and uh, whoop, went a little bit too far Just go around it, make sure I get everywhere here. This is the blade. And what I generally do when I cut this out, I'll cut close to the Sharpie. And uh, there you go right there, what it's going to look like. I'll turn it the other way and show you. And uh, what I'll do is, uh, you know, of course, cut the end of it out. And uh, I'll uh, use a hacksaw. I'll try to use as much hand tools as I possibly can. I'll probably use a grinder to get it really close to the, uh, the uh, Sharpie mark there. But stay true to the, uh, the uh, actual uh, 
the design that I've got here as I go ahead and cut. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, cut this section out. And we'll okay, uh, let's go get go ahead and get ready and uh, cut this uh, uh, blade out. And of course, I've got my hacksaw here. I'm going to use that. I've got it laid on my workbench, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, clamp it down. And it's just just hand clamps I've got here. One there. Put another here. Okay. And of course, using the hacksaws takes a while. Just be patient as you go through and cut. Uh, and again, I'm going to leave about an eighth of an inch to a sixteenth of an inch. There, I can always uh, uh, use uh, a file or. Uh, uh, my grinder to cut down to the actual ink marks of my sharpie and uh, I'll just go ahead and start and uh, this 1095 steel is uh, annealed already it's uh, soft uh, hacksaw is cutting pretty good in there and uh, I don't think it's going to take long at all to cut through And again, my hacksaw has probably been used several times on different projects. Uh, a brand new blade would probably do wonders also. But uh, I'll go ahead and cut this out, and uh, just before I'm done, uh, I'll come back on. Okay, let's finish uh, cutting this out. I've got uh, oh, just about there, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of it out here. Camera's moving some. Get in here. Whoops. I have got to get a better camera and stand. And there we go. Right there now. Use the hacksaw. And uh, it took about, uh, I don't know, five minutes or so. I'm old, and uh, it just takes me longer to do things. And I did wear safety glasses over my regular glasses, too, so always be safe. You don't want to get any metal in your eye, believe you me. It really hurts. Um, also, um, uh, what I'll probably do uh, for the rest of the knife, uh, you can use a hacksaw. And uh, you know, no problem with that. Uh, matter of fact, uh, the uh, last knife I built out of a file, I did most of my work with the hacksaw. And I finally got a grinder, used a grinder. But uh, one thing I'm going to do uh, with the uh, blade I've got here now is uh, for this detail, of course, you can use a hacksaw. But what I'm going to do is uh, let's see, probably use my Dremel uh, next time and uh, use one of the round cutting uh, discs on it and uh, just cut along the outside of the uh, black marks on my knife blade here and then use a grinder to grind it down so uh, uh, you know uh, as old as I am my neck hurt my arms hurt uh, if I saw too much or hammer too long uh, you know it's really going to hurt me uh, you know if you got the power tools you know why not use them uh, that's what I'll be doing from now on. But uh, just want to let you know, just like uh, Tim's uh, build along at Sugar Creek, uh, Sugar Creek Forge, you can do it with hand tools. There's no doubt about it. It just takes a little bit longer, uh, a little bit more patience. And uh, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and cut some of this out now using my Dremel tool. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks.